Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, is there anything else I need to do here? Hunting the Archon, the enemy, meet Raiders on Vold. Got a few things to do. Broken Betrayal. That's on hold for now. Meet PB in her Nexus apartment. Take call to speak with uh, Hydra uh, on EOS. Okay. The Ark still doing that. Evaluate Fold for an outpost. Wait for Joel to set up a meeting. Boon Ark not dead yet. Keep an eye out for Ark. Uh, Nintendo survivors or debris done all that okay. return the relic to Arya uh, uh, investigate the second missing satellite nav point oh yeah uh, what about Havar what do we still have to do here okay return to sage emerge okay nexus Wait for an email from Knight. Assist the Apex Terminal. Gather intel on enemies. Right, okay. Pick up the project from the Nexus docking bay. Uh, find a plant on Aya for Suvi. How about Vold? Find an outpost. Alright. There we go. Let's travel here. Find uh, a Murd or a Mood, whatever his name is. Over here. Here we go. Did you find anything about my sister? Carla was right. They documented everything. Your sister was moved across Avarl. This data drive should have the specifics. Thank you. With all this information, I could see Amara again. But the thought of leaving frightens me. This is my home. If I leave, I abandon my duties. What if I never get to come home again? Everyone gets scared. It passes. Amara's your sister. And home is often a person, and not a place. I will swallow my fear. Thank you for this. For helping an old man. You're welcome. Alright. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we're all done on Haval for now. I'm sure there'll be stuff to do later, so now... We can return to the Nexus. I'm sure we need to talk to, uh... Ephra. You are right there, PB? Thanks, Suvi. Well, Haval took a while, but we got there in the end. Jal said he wanted to see you. Did he now? Let's, let's have a chat with you guys first. It's been a while. Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil? I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. 
Ooh, dear, that's going to that's going to become a problem. Hey, Siri, how you doing? Cat genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. Just think, while you're poking around in their genetics, they're probably doing the same with ours. Huh. Wonderful. That's me never sleeping again. I should get back to things. Sounds good. All right. There are any emails? The science team, Pathfinder team. The Nexus has approved the request for a multidisciplinary team to be posted on Haval to assist with the Angaran efforts there. Uh, primary team members. All right, all good. Both Angara and Nexus teams have expressed interest. Have expressed interesting in having the Pathfinder visit Haval again to observe cross-culture effort efforts. I think you may expressed interest there. Cool. This is I emerged. I write to you now from Amara's home on the other side of Haval. I am surrounded by her children and grandchildren whom I have never met, but who welcomed me as though they'd known me all their lives. I left my home only to find another one. Though I wish I had done this years ago, I am grateful for the time I have left. This would not have happened without your help. It is beautiful here. Oh, good for you. Uh, proud, proud of Haval. I mean, sure, living there would have been fun. That planet is one uh, pterodactyl away from Jurassic Funfair. But what we did uh, for the Angara will go a long way to making us good neighbours. We need that, especially with the scourge restricting the neighbourhood. Security is training, uh, training up on what the locals know about local fauna, outpost or not. Haval helps. Oh. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Oh, yeah. Why can't you just answer yourself? Because. Because. Just because. Fine. Lexi, PB wants to look at Jal's scan. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless. Uh, AVP, here we go. Alright. One cryo thing available. Military pods, hunting parties. There we go. How the strike team is doing? Successful. Yes. Oh, veteran. Cool. The nation has those materials. We'll send Yankee in. Flag force operation. Then strike team. Protect sensitive equipment. There we go. Jal? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough. But I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I was. I am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. 
Here, I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. What's that one? I don't even know what that one is. I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Oh, no. Because you enjoy spending time. I didn't want to do that one. Ah. Alright, hold on. All right, now I know that I've messed up. We can do this one. Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. All right. Sorry, but I'm only interested in PB. Lexi, your dad was Turian? That explains so much. Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. Not even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing is part of the job. PB. Hi there. Just checking in. What's up? I like it when you flirt. Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. You know it. Alright. Nothing new there. Uh, we need to talk to Ephra, I think. No, right, maybe not. All right. I can't see yes, anything. Hello. Who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's complicated, Subi. Uh, got yourself a little lady phone, Kello. Good for you. Right, uh. Let's head back. Got Kadara over there. Right, let's go to the Nexus first because we've got a couple of friendship building to do. Uh, it's poker with Gil, and I need to talk to Lexi on the Nexus. And I need to check my memory triggers as well. We, yeah, skip all this. I don't need to keep seeing this now. Oh, blimey, there's a lot to do on here.
right. Hey, Carrie. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water. Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. Hmm. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. Strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's... Colonist registration is up since last episode, as is morale. Tan sent this for you. Inspiring, huh? Hmm. Things are still going smoothly without me to look over this. Uh, what's going on in here? And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navarre. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. Everything you see, we're willing to share. Knowledge, technology, support. What's the price? Whatever you're willing to give. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa Sepjav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Just a couple of question marks over here. Oh, just the stairs. Alright. Let's go meet Gil. Unlocking. Come on in. Oh no, this is uh PB. Oh blimey. Ta da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, Peavy. Let Suvian Gill eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the. Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Hmm.
No reason we can't all be civil, right? Exactly. But you are kind of trespassing, so... Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. Oh, you bitch. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Clinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. Yay! Remnant VI unlocked. Excellent. Wait for you to learn more I'll about the I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Good stuff. All right. So what's this over here? Oh, you're downstairs, aren't you? Scourge's presence. Some even feed on its radiant energy. See this older specimen? The growth I'm sure whatever you're seeing is fascinating, but I am busy. Right, Gil is in here. That done. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Bill's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Hmm. Do it. The Pathfinder has spoken. <laughs> Ooh, were you holding out on me? You're pretty good at this. Don't act so surprised. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. Not the type to give up, huh? Never. She'll be with me to the bitter end. Come what may. Jill's a fertility expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. He's nothing. I call. Oof, nice. That one's yours. <laughs> well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Guess I continue searching for my true purpose in life. Cards went my way. Beginner's luck. Peddle that somewhere else. <laughs> beginner. Jill's gonna lay into me hard when she hears you won. I'll just tell her this proves how bad a player she is. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. <laughs> All right. All right. We're done here, I think.
And what's going on over here? to know if he's available, would you? Depends on what you mean. His duties keep him pretty busy. No, I mean like a... Oh, never mind. Just a... Uh, tell him I said hi, huh? Alright. And Gil, you're a popular... You're a popular fella. Please, remain in line. Interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. Not many soldiers. Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Politicians get nervous when you hold anything more explosive than a rotten egg. <laughs> You've seen this too. The military life echoes everywhere. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachno, a Heskal with the Resistance. A Heskal? Centuries ago, Herskal were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Few remember us today. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program, an N7. What have you learned about the N7 program? Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arcturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. They learn to fight in all environments, on little food or sleep, to care for their injured, to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? He was one of the first N7s. He was proud of that, even though he didn't stay in service. Didn't stop him teaching me and my sister a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Cool stuff. Alright, hold on. Where are you? Alright, you're the pie jack. Aha! I knew it! Horizontal gene transfer! They can't incorporate new DNA seamlessly into their... Conservation effort can barely keep up. What a wonderful service you've done for us. You've certainly earned your fee. And its gas bladder can expand 300%. Amazing. Hey, Herrick, how about you not dissect things over lunch? It's weird. All right. Alright, so... Oh, I've come up here. Oh, that's why. Down on the other floor. Here we are. One young pie jack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. Right. Now that's out the way. Oh, cryobay. 
Not sure I meant to go to that one, but it'll do. No, uh, no, I didn't mean to come here. Uh, operations, habitation deck. That's one. A bar opens on the Nexus. Visitors herald the vortex as a sign of civility and the opposite of civility as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. No, uh, no, one of the bartenders is a little tetchy. Let's go check out these memories. Hey Sam. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam, we use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this, I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just ask for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? <laughs> Felt so real. Mom was right there, alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you too. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh, you're both looking taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um, I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, oh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. 
Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. <laughs> Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. Awkward. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Alright, now we've got audio logs to check out. All right, calm down there. Calm down there, lad. Your father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and Historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors, and they resented it. Ryder, Barlabon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Well, that was the old Shadow Broker. Right, the others are still encrypted for now. All right. Okay. Oh, Haval. Contact Dredd Addison from Haval. All right. Nexus. Five fighters. Wait for the email. Gather intel. There really nothing else for me to do here. Merge, Battle of the Remnant, okay. Well, let's head over to uh, Operations anyway. 
and see this stuff over there today. I'm sure the sure there is. Very much doubt I've cleared up everything. Oh, the animation's rough. Authorities continue work to establish contact with the Milky Way descendants. As of now, beacons confirming arrival in Helios remain unanswered. This is Agent S. Okay. Nothing else here. Was that you? What is it? Well, you're out there facing the cat. We hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think peace could ever be possible? The Kets seem set in their ways. So it would be up to us to change? If they have their way, they'll change us into them. That's what they do. Oh, I see. We must continue the fight then. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else for me to do here. Back to the next as it is. The cultural center requests special Species are at odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is HNS. Don't know if you can hear. The drilling, hopefully you can't, but next door neighbours renovating. <sighs> I can't wait for that to be over. Petra wanted you to check in when you can. All right. Pathfinder, you have new email. Oh, do it now. Uh, PV. Okay, so the Angara have a place they call the Repository of History. I know it sounds super dull. They need someone with more. For, they need someone with more of a flair for naming things, huh? Next time you're running around Aya, come see me there, will you? Sure. Gil. You know that guy Bailey you ran into on the Nexus? Whatever you said to him, he decided to reach out to me. <laughs> Gil, I hope you're well. Our time working together on Nexus was invigorating, and I'm sure you are invigorating your colleagues on the Tempest now. I am for them and your Pathfinder. But I suppose your uh, your work, the work you're doing now, and the pioneers you're supporting need and probably deserve to be invigorated more than the rest of us. Snip. It drones on for six pages like that before he asks me if I'd like to get a drink. I feel invigorated. I feel invigorated now, don't you? <laughs> All right. Where is Vetra? Betra's in the back. Got a minute? Oh, Cora as well wants to talk. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. 
I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Sure. All right. Uh, Cora, where are you? Are you back upstairs? Yes. You are upstairs in the lab. Interesting method of climbing a ladder. Oops. Looks like our pie jack friend got out of his cage. Hm. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The cat turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day. Now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the cat. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the Ket. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. All right. Should probably head back to Eos then, so we can talk to the Asari there. I'm going to do it. I've run all the tests. It's non-toxic. If we're going to live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Doctor Tapero, please do something. Don't do it, Suvi. You told on me. I thought we were friends. You, sir, are uninvited from all my parties. <laughs> How are we doing? Firefly says, well, I can't finish that one yet because I haven't had the email. Maybe we've got other places to explore. Do we? No, that's 100%. They're all fully explored, so we've got you over there. Uh, where the hell is Eos? Over here. We'll head to that new one in the next episode, I think. I'm very uh, cautious about uh, story locking side missions. I don't know if that's a thing here. Home of Eos and Prodromos. But I'd rather not risk it. I need to take core with me on this one.
Naming the dead, waking up to the future, Cora, and boosting the signal. Landing zone, architect. Right. Why don't I have the N7 one? Uh, right. Swap you out for Cora, because we need you with us. There we go. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Excellent stuff. Right. Over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. Well, we'll do that next time. Let's talk to these people in here first. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. At least you and these others made it out. Only just. Our clothes were still smoldering. What happened? The Ket chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Being hunted by an elite anything isn't fun. What were they after? I don't know. I'm a junior. I just do what they tell me. A bridge officer, Sarissa something, gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Parafona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's... Good to see the cat aren't the only ones winning. Go to Vault Trent. Uh, okay. Right. With that in mind, I'm going to end this episode here. This one was a bit of a talky one, but that's the way these kind of games go. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.